Okay, so, so much has been read in that particular move. But before we start with the local politics, let's look at the bigger picture, Dismas. Raila's candidature as the AUC chair. What boxes does Raila tick that makes the Kenyan government so enthusiastic in making sure he's successful? In, as a matter of fact, the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, said they will fund his bid <laughs> to the AUC chair position. Your take? Well, I had the occasion to socialize with the requirements. They talk about an advanced degree, a master's, you know, change leadership. There are so many attributes. But I guess for Mr. Raila Odinga is that uh, he's a statesman and he's got a very solid uh, brand recognition uh, across Africa. Mm -hmm. In fact, when he travels from uh, one city to another, the people he's uh, meeting, I would easily venture that he probably has a first name relationship with uh, about 25% of uh, his voters for this particular mm -hmm. case for the AUC role. Yeah. I mean, uh, he said to be close to the DRC president. He said to be close to the South Africa president. He said to be close to majority of the presidents in Africa. And I guess the fact that uh, Nairobi is uh, sponsoring and supporting his candidature, then uh, he must be close to, to President Ruto. But uh, one of the biggest challenges I've uh, noticed is that uh, the way the local political players, as well as the media, are treating his uh, candidature. Some of your colleagues have uh, been uh, a major letdown for Kenya. Instead of asking ourselves that um, if Relo Dinga takes up this role, what does it mean for Kenya? What does it mean for East Africa? Mm -hmm. What does it mean for Africa? And what does it mean for the world? They are focusing on uh, so-called ODM orphans. They are saying we're going to fill the vacuum in uh, Luanyanza. And then they're introducing petty party politics and petty tribal politics to an international assignment. Like the soundbite uh, you've played, the gentleman seems to suggest that uh, if Raila takes this position, a few months to the next election, he's going to abandon his position at AAC and come and run for this position. Some ODM fellows were asking, how come UDA did a news conference to support his uh, candidature? And right now, we are talking about a very serious international assignment. Okay. No Kenyan okay. has ever held this uh, kind of uh, assignment. Okay. The closest Kenya had was uh, a gentleman called Salim Ahmed Salim from uh, Tanzania. So instead of us uh, rallying together as a nation and supporting uh, Mr. Odinga's candidature, everybody is looking at his insurable interest. People are likely to get a beating in 2027. The ones who are saying, no, Raila Odinga is going to, to come back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. In my view, what uh, Mr. Raila Odinga needs to do as a matter of urgency is uh, with the leadership of uh, President Ruto, develop a winning strategy and identify, you know, when you're doing systems analysis and design, you look at the key success factors, then you do a critical path analysis. Mm -hmm. What do we need to do to take up this role as AUC? They get the key success factors and all Kenyans work towards that goal. So. If you've been uh, winning an election simply because uh, you are loyal to Raila Odinga, right. just accept reality that you are going to lose that position. Let's support Raila Odinga to secure this role. I, in any event, mm -hmm. one of the things that Kenya Kwanza indicated is they're going to create opportunities for Kenyans at the international level. And it seems that Mr. Raila Odinga mm -hmm. will be the biggest beneficiary okay, okay. of that economic and, diplomacy. And just to clarify, when we were fronting the candidature of <coughs> the former cabinet secretary, uh, is it Amina Amin Mohammed? Mohammed? Is it to the same position where she wasn't successful against, it was against Musafaki, yeah, I think. Yeah. So once beaten, twice shy. However, uh -huh. that is what I've indicated. We need to sit down and say, what is the, we do the critical path analysis, okay. identify the key success factors, and address them to the hilt. Okay. You, you see now, when you get uh, 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 the ODM uh, party folks in Kenya saying, he may abandon his position, our competition may use these clips for their campaigns, mm -hmm. saying, look at what the loyal ODM members are saying, okay. that the party leader is using this one as a stepping stone for the presidents of Kenya. Okay. And uh, it would appear to me that majority of Kenyans don't even understand uh, how the African Union works. Uh, and yet all of them have got <coughs> smartphones. So you know, as you come in, uh, yes. and I'd like to put this question.